government has now admitted that they vetted everyone who was in attendance uh, that day. Will the Prime Minister apologize for having vetted this individual and letting him come anyway? This is deeply embarrassing for us as parliamentarians, as Canadians, and it is something that I think all of us take extremely seriously. Will he finally take responsibility for his latest embarrassment and apologize to Canadians for this massacre? I would ask my honourable colleagues not to politicize this moment. question was for the Prime Minister, because indeed it is the Prime Minister's sole responsibility to guarantee the diplomatic success of major world leaders who come to this country. It is the Prime Minister whose government is responsible for both security and diplomatic vetting of everyone that comes in close proximity of a foreign leader on Canadian soil, particularly a foreign leader who is at war. The government has now admitted that they vetted everyone who was in attendance uh, that day. Will the Prime Minister apologize for having vetted this individual and letting him come anyway? Here, here, here. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, like all members of this chamber, I am incredibly disappointed in the fact that uh, this individual was invited, as you yourself, Mr. Speaker, have confirmed by you, was recognized in the gallery. I found out, just like every other member in this House at that time, that this individual was present. Uh, this is deeply embarrassing for us as parliamentarians, as Canadians, and it is something that I think all of us take extremely seriously. And I would ask my honourable colleagues not to politicize this moment. Thank you, Mr. Yes. Speaker. The honourable leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister is responsible. He is in Ottawa today. He can get on his feet and answer for his massive diplomatic embarrassment and shame. Stand up. That minister admitted that the government vetted every single person that was here for the speech. That was the job of the government, which has an entire security and diplomatic apparatus set up for that purpose. Will he finally take responsibility for his latest embarrassment and apologize to Canadians for this massive attack? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, as a descendant of Jewish Holocaust survivors, I am personally very hurt by the fact that this chamber recognized this individual. And I am sure that everyone feels the same way in this chamber. The Parliamentary Protective Service had the appropriate screening in place to ensure the security of last Friday's event, and that is what I was referring to, Mr. Speaker. But what I can continue to say is that we all must take this seriously because it is hurting many communities. Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition. It is the job of the Government of Canada, the Privy Council Office, which is the Prime Minister's personal department, the Prime Minister's security forces in the RCMP, to vet every single person that comes within proximity of a high-profile foreign war leader who is involved in a very difficult conflict right now. It was the job of the Prime Minister to protect that foreign leader from this massive embarrassment. If the Prime Minister failed to have vetting in place, then that in itself is a massive act of incompetence. Will he take responsibility and apologize for that? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, I would again ask the Leader of the Opposition to not politicize this issue. He knows just as well as everyone else in this chamber that the decision to invite this individual was yours, Mr. Speaker, and yours alone, that you did not inform the government or the Ukrainian delegation that you were inviting him or that you would recognize him. 
You made that public yesterday. The leader of the opposition knows that, and I would ask that he sticks to the facts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, very good. Answer. Leader of the opposition. Well, if the Prime Minister is so proud of how he conducted himself, he would be on the floor in the House of Commons today. That's right. That's right. are sick and tired of a Prime Minister. Honourable members, that uh, the presence in the gallery, all MPs have duties in the chamber and outside. I just want to remind them that referring to their presence or absence is not uh, allowed in the rules. The Honourable uh, Opposition Leader, please continue. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are sick and tired of a Prime Minister who never takes responsibilities That's for right. the things that happen, happen under his watch, whether it's the record high inflation or interest rates or the doubling of housing costs or the constant international embarrassments. He always finds someone else to throw under the bus. Right. Are you that person? Mr. Speaker, I know the Leader of the Opposition doesn't want to rely on the facts, but the facts in this situation are that the government had no prior knowledge that this individual was being invited, nor that he would be recognized. And if they go back and recall what happened on Friday, they will see that it was indeed the Speaker of the House that recognize this individual. We, will all, we were all caught off guard. It's dear, it's deeply embarrassing to this parliament, but to Canada. And I ask that we all deal with this responsibly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.